You know, I love chasing epiphanies. You know, I tell people that to make art is a desire to clothe inspiration, right? To capture the transient fleeting moments in which the dots connect in a new way. It's this idea that when we are at our most creative, we aren't even really creating. We are channeling. We are transcribing. We are, we are <laughs> conduits for something larger than ourselves to erupt, to express itself through us. We become a medium. We become an instrument being played by some other sentience. You know, this sounds like the musing, the muses of the madness of the Greek creative people who talked about being touched by a hint of madness and something erupting through them but not from them and though it is with them it belongs not to them. Creativity as a holy act, creativity as divine grace, is it at least allow us to be, allows us to be humble. It allows us to succumb, to surrender, to dive in, to lose ourselves. And there's something kind of beautiful about that. There's something kind of beautiful about getting out of our own way, right? Which people talk about when they talk about flow states and creativity. But oh my God, when that happens, that is transcendence. That is to be in ecstasy, to be beside ourselves as something comes through. And that's, oh, that's what we're chasing. That's what we're always, always chasing.